to the number because it's exactly 11 o'clock uh, within the studios of Classic 105.5 and 105.9 on the FM band. Uh, good morning to the televised edition of the Mid Morning Buzz. We say good morning to you wherever you are, those of you that's here on radio, and that's Classic 105.5, 105.9. You're joining us on television, or you're probably even joining us via the World Wide Web. We say thanks and welcome, and thanks for being part of the broadcast. Indeed, I'm Joseph Cador. Uh, my first guest this morning, she, um, it's the, she is the U.S. Ambassador uh, to Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean, and she's Linda Tagliatella. And she will be speaking with her for the next um, 15 or so minutes. And certainly she's going to be bringing us up to speed um, with her visit to Grenada and other matters as it relates to the U.S.'s involvement in the region. Madam Ambassador, good morning and welcome to the program. And how are you? I'm fine. And how are you today? I am wonderful as always. It is, it is, it is good to see you. It's nice to see you, and it's certainly nice to be in Grenada. Wonderful, wonderful. Of course, whenever you're here, we know you always take the opportunity to share with us, and certainly today would be no different. Um, whenever you hear, there's always great news, and certainly you probably want, of course, just to, to get the conversation rolling as to update us, because, you know, when you hear, you always bring good news to us. It's great to be here. Um, I've been here for three days. I've enjoyed traveling around Grenada. Um, I don't know, as you saw in the newspaper and the media, um, on, but we've dedicated the warehouse and the emergency management center that's being built. Um, we've also, we just got done doing a tour of La Grenada Industries. Um, very exciting because we got to sample a few of the wear the goods and we actually got a tour of the garden so it was a lovely morning um and it's delightful to be here with you today um you got to go to la Grenade. exciting opportunities uh, please tell me they did get a chance to take you to grandin's beach that day or to the falls did they i have not gotten to the falls on this trip it's something that i would love to do on a, on a future trip I think indeed you should you should put it on your on your list of engagements. Uh, let's talk, Ambassador. I mean, there's no doubt Grenada has enjoyed a wonderful relationship with the U.S. and certainly uh, it, it's kind of um, it, it allows for a throwback because, of course, today being the twenty the twenty first, and of course Thanksgiving is, is is this is this weekend, and certainly we we have to give a lot to give God thanks for, and we must say that over the years. Um, that Grenada has had a, a wonderful relationship with the U.S. Isn't that correct? That's correct. It's been very important to the United States to maintain a good relationship with Grenada. We have worked very hard in building capacity, building institutions, helping sustainability, and we continue to do that. And we hope, you know, in the future, we will just continue to build on that wonderful partnership. You talked about the, the opening of the warehouse. Uh, could you put that in context for me as to how that helps to enhance and continue that excellent relationship that the both countries have, have actually enjoyed over the years? Well, you know, it's very important to be able to ensure that in any case of a natural disaster, that there is a way that we will continue to be able to communicate, to coordinate, and to keep things organized. Um, so the emergency management centers are set up so that, they, well, the building that's being built will withstand a Category 5 hurricane, which is the good news. And what the building, the building has two parts. The first part, as I said, was the emergency management center, which will be the hub of communication. And there is a smaller warehouse in Grenada that was built earlier, and we're also building a warehouse with an office facility in Carico. And there's already one in Petite Martinique. So at any time when there's a natural disaster, the islands will be able to communicate with one another and with people outside of the islands, which is very important when you're trying to coordinate international relief and assistance. So the idea is um, to be able to have a communication center and a way for people to actually get together and organize whatever strategy is going to be used to deal with the natural disaster. The warehouses are also very important. Um, I realized in 
when we had the hurricane, Irma first went through and then Maria in 2017, and we went into Dominica. Part of the problem was all the relief material was in Miami. And when the hurricane hit the United States, the, the warehouse obviously was not available to get into and or to move things. So we realized it was important to be able to preposition things so that when the hurricane came, there were supplies and resources that were available on in country. So the warehouses will be used to store things, um, non-perishable things that will be able to be used to help, you know, put roofs back on houses and be able to provide basic needs and necessities for families who have been displaced um, while we're waiting for international visitor or international help to come. Great. Uh, you talked about, of course, one of the functions being that of being able to communicate um, with other territories across the region, by extension, the U.S. Why do you want that, Sisney, um, the U.S. has been a, f a friend not just to Grenada, but to the entire Caribbean region, and has been an excellent history that supports that. Could you talk about um, the U.S.'s relationship with the U Grenada and the rest of the Caribbean, by extension? Yeah. I, the United States has been and will continue to be a good partner to the Caribbean. Um, obviously, we view the Caribbean as our third border. We find that it's very important to, to provide, make sure the area is safe and secure, because when they're safe and secure, the United States will be safe and secure, and vice versa. And we've spent, over the years, we've spent a lot of time building capacity, as I mentioned, and building institutions. and. One of the things we do is obviously, because we have a large number of tourists coming into the islands, is making sure that obviously the islands are safe and secure. So we've worked very hard with the military institutions on each island to build a, a capacity for a Coast Guard type in, in, uh, system where people are out. Um, they have boats that which we've provided them so they can do drug interdiction. They can look for people trafficking in persons or other um, things such as guns. You find that <clears throat> we do exercises across the Caribbean. We have one, our large exercise trade wins. We do once a year. This year we're planning to do it in Barbados and obviously all of the Caribbean countries will be involved. It's a three week exercise where we look at something related to a natural disaster and also look at something that was involved with law enforcement. And it gives everybody an opportunity to work together and to learn and meet network between the various components of military throughout the Caribbean. We also continue to work with the Caribbean on um, educational issues. We just completed an early learner program where we worked very hard on education with schools by developing curriculum to teach reading, working with teachers to help them develop their schools provide extra material that can be used to teach the reading and to make sure that we've even included parents to show them how to help their children read. Even though the program after five years is closing down and there will be new programs coming online, we've made sure that this is that there's enough information out there and enough supplies and, and knowledge out there that the program can continue without the assistance of the United States. So we're building sustainability. The program was very successful. 50% of the second graders had improved their reading substantially, which is truly important. Um, there's studies out that show that if children don't learn to read by third grade, they have a higher chance of not finishing school um, than children who really have put efforts into learning to read. So we're very proud of the program. Um, and we will continue to do other such programs across the Caribbean. And I think it, it is it is it is it is, it is fair to say that that program forms part of that extensive and overarching um, strategy as it relates to Grenada and the rest of, and the rest and the rest and the rest of the region. I think our strategy is to help build capacity by by working with different institutions. Obviously, we want, again going back to the security and safety of the islands. We have worked very closely training the police forces of each island in how to, to investigate crime, how to document and prepare for trial. We've worked with prosecutors teach, you know, teaching them um, basically some, some tactics and how to present the case. We've also worked with each of the judicial systems to establish what appear to be standardized um, sentencing guidelines so that you know, they're 
across the islands, but within the island, people get the same punishment for this for similar crimes. Um, we worked with judges. We worked with um, the lawyers, as I said. It's building capacity, helping the islands to develop what they need um, to move forward. And we also, um, the British High Commission in Barbados and the MC Bridgetown hired a British barrister who is working with the legal um, legislative people on each island, helping them to reform legislation, bringing them into the 21st century, getting their, putting new laws, you know, on the books, refining the laws that are already there. Um, and we're doing the effort of developing the templates and giving them to each of the islands to fit into their legislative framework. Excellent. Um, let me ask you, Ambassador, I know the, the topic of COVID-19 is one that has certainly en engulfed us all. And uh, we can well appreciate it while at home the U.S. has had its fair challenge uh, with COVID. Certainly, that has also been an area that you've been actively involved in, notwithstanding your own issues at home. We have, you know, I think from a standpoint, I've been very concerned about my own country and what's going on there. I also realize that there's a very fine balance between, in, particularly in the islands, you rely heavily on tourism and how do you re-energize tour tourism versus protecting the islands and keeping them safe. I think the islands have done an incredible job of setting up the right protocols for people coming, tourists coming to the islands. The United States obviously has been committed to helping people. We have been able to provide PPEs, some testing kits, some reagents, um, some of the things that are needed to the islands to help them, including ventilators to some of them. And we continue to partner to determine what it is the islands need and also to work with them on figuring out how best to open up their borders again. While we are that we did indicate we when we started in the interview, of course, um, here at home, as we continue, we got into the month. It, be, it takes some October, always takes some a sort of somber note for for many Grenadians as they look back to the events of 1983 and the supportive role that the U.S. played and part of that uh, part of our history. And I know every year the U.S. as part of the Thanksgiving, the U.S. government has always been there and supportive after all these years, and we, we're certain that for this year as part of the, the October 25th Thanksgiving um, celebrations, um, observance, that is, that the U.S. will be just as actively involved and giving its recommitment to Grenada? The, the United States remains committed, and I think um, this year, the principal officer here in Grenada, Mr. Duckworth, will be attending the ceremony. Um, my understanding is St. George's University will not be doing, because of COVID, will not be doing a ceremony. But we will obviously stand by, we will recognize the day, and we will participate in whatever activities are um, done, set up forth by the government. Um, it is a special day. Um, I have been here every year for the ceremony. Um, it's obviously a sad day to know that we lost Americans, but we also lost, obviously, Grenadians. Um, and it's a day to reflect on the values of our country and your country, democracy, rule of law, good governance, um, and keeping people safe and secure. Indeed, indeed, indeed. We're keeping our eyes on the clock. And for those of you that's probably just joining us, I'm speaking here with the U.S. Ambassador from Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean, um, Linda Tagliatella. And we're just literally going through her, uh, the U.S.'s involvement here in Grenada and across the Eastern Caribbean. And we are just touching, of course, on the heels of us to get ready for the observance of the our. Thanksgiving, any Thanksgiving anniversary, now, Madam Ambassador, we it is always good to look ahead. Uh, 20, uh, 2020 has been a challenging year, no doubt. Um, I would assume for each of us in our own individual lives and collectively as nations, looking ahead. Um, I know, of course, there. Can you? probably talk to any specific area of interest um, as it relates to that continued relationship, uh, continued partnership between the U.S. and uh, the trial and state? 
I'm not sure you're aware, but we had a, a five-year plan, which was U.S. Caribbean Strategy 2020. Um, we've come to an end. We are now working on a new strategy, um, and it will be based on what we've done. As I said, the United States is here to stay. We are committed to the Caribbean. Um, we have long histories with all of the countries here, and obviously we want to continue to build on those relationships. And I think that working with each of the islands to identify the issues that are about most important to them and building our strategy on how we respond to you and the needs you have um, is important. And we'll be rolling that out probably sometime in 2021. Obviously, we're going through an election, and some of the decisions that will be made on the specifics of the program will come when we have whomever is going to be the leader of the United States and the people of the State Department. But at least I'm happy that you're giving your commitment that notwithstanding the political jostling that takes place within the U.S., that the, room, the U.S. remains totally and unequivocally committed to Grenada and the rest of the Eastern Caribbean. Um, I know we've, we've touched a lot. I know you have, you, have, you have a tight schedule. Is there anything you probably, outside of what we've discussed already, you probably would hope that we can touch, we can touch on within the next few minutes? You know, I think that the important thing is, is that we truly value Grenada as a good partner. We value the relationships that we've established one on one. And that we really, you know, want to help and assist and partner with Grenada and the rest of the Eastern Caribbean. And I have to say, I've, you know, this is the first trip I've made out of, the, out of Barbados since March when COVID put us in a lockdown. Um, it was important for me to come, um, and I've had good meetings with the Prime Minister, the Foreign Minister, um, and some of the other ministers within government. And I've also been able to get out and talk to some of the people through the warehouse presentation and others. And it's good to be out. It's good to be in Grenada. And I assure you that I will be back and then again to enjoy the wonderful things of Grenada, but also to continue to build on the relationship we have. Indeed, indeed. Uh, 17 minutes gone past the, uh, past the hour. Uh, U.S. Ambassador for Barbados and the rest and the Eastern Caribbean, Linda Tagliatella. Madam Ambassador, we say thanks for sharing off, sharing off your time. And before you leave, I hope Lady Crony allow her to get you some coconut water, some oil dung, and some ginger before you leave, before you leave the island. I certainly will. Thank you so very much for having me on your show. Please take care. Thank you. All the best to you, to yourself and your family. Thank you. Great. 15, 18 minutes gone past the hour in the morning time is the sound of classic, classic 105.5, 105.9 and GBN television. And uh, we were speaking with them, speaking there with uh, the U.S. Ambassador to Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean, uh, Linda Tagliatella, etc. She was just updating us on the U.S.'s role and involvement within Grenada and by extension, um, the rest of the Eastern Caribbean. Um, she did indicate, of course, a partnership uh, with the warehouse that's been built, the headquarters for our disaster agencies, and certainly that would act as a hub for communicating during a natural disaster. We'll take a quick commercial break. When we come back, we'll be looking to link up with our wonderful friends on the south of the island at the Whamas House. Classic in the morning, 105.5, 105.9 on the FM band. Disaster Management Agency, NAGMA, reminds the general public to always be prepared. Make sure you have emergency supplies stocked away just in case. Here is a list to help you and your family. At least one gallon of water daily per person for 7 to 10 days. Enough food for at least 3 to 7 days. Non-perishable packaged or canned food and juices. Special items and food for babies and the elderly. Non-electric can opener. Cooking tools and fuel. Paper plates, 
plastic utensils, paper cups, trash bags, and duct tape useful for cleanup or patching leaks in an emergency, blankets, pillows, first aid kit, medicines, prescription drugs, toiletries, hygiene items, moisture wipes, tapple into cover holes if needed, bleach, water purification tablets, flashlight with extra batteries, battery operated radio, cash, small bills, banks and ATMs may not be open or available for extended periods, keys to house and cars, toys, books and games, important document in a waterproof container or watertight resealable plastic bag, up-to-date insurance, medical records, bank account numbers, keep important phone numbers here, you may know them but a loved one may not, a pocket knife, nails, a hammer and a rope are important elements, towels and buckets are useful too if you develop a leak. Vehicle fuel, keep tanks filled. A message from the National Disaster Management Agency, NADMA. Feel good facts. Help prevent cold and flu by washing your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. That's the time it takes to remove most germs. No soap and water? No worries when you've got alcohol based hand sanitizer. It is important to know what your road signs and markings means. The zigzag lines means you should not park in the marked area. Parking is allowed inside the solid white lines on the edge of the road. Remember, look out for pedestrians. Pedestrians, be sure the vehicle comes to a complete stop before crossing. These tips can save your life. These tips can make our roads safer for all users. Be safe, be seen, be smart. A message from the Traffic Department of the Royal Grenada Police Force. Uriah Peters. I'm a good listener and K105 has always been a great source of education and entertainment. Now while the station name may have changed over the years, it has always provided valuable information which enabled me as a playwright to document and to celebrate our history, our behavior and our achievements. K105 is my choice. It's the national station. The following are a list of food items to have on hand amidst COVID-19. Perishables like vegetables, fruits, provisions, and eggs. You are advised to stock perishable items to last up to two weeks. Non-perishable items including dry goods like cereals, flour, cornmeal, oats, rice, pasta, nuts and nut butters like peanut butter, crackers, canned or frozen meats, ready-to-eat canned meats, powdered or canned milk, dried peas and beans, canned fruits in natural juices, 100% canned fruit juices, and canned vegetables. You can stock non-perishable food items to last up to one month. Store bottled or clean drinking water, one gallon or more per day per person. If you suffer from a medical condition, have prescribed medications on hand. A message from the Grenada Food and Nutrition Council as we battle COVID. COVID-19.
Wednesday, and as, as customary, um, we making the trek down to the south of the island as we get ready to link up with our two wonderful souls inside of the Wham's house. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, Lady Duncan. How have you two wonderful souls been keeping? Morning, morning. Good morning, good morning. How are you Welcome doing? back, Joseph. Well, thank you. Did I, I didn't. Well, I don't know if you guys really miss me. I don't want you all to stop because I, I, I didn't get a, a little WhatsApp <laughs> saying that we, we, we miss you or anything like that, you know. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm, I'm not going to take. We, 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 was, we, was in, we, we were in good hands, Jano. I don't even yes. understand what what that means. I, I expected you to be in good hands. So does that mean? Yeah, we were. You were in, <laughs> we were. We were. Trust me, we were. I wasn't expecting. Morning, Jano. I wasn't expecting any anything less from her. Well, yeah. Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat, but I understand that the carpenters, yeah. the carpenters have work cut out for them. Yeah, for real, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. But you, you, you know, you know we, we, we always are custom, you know, doing stuff and showing stuff for electricians and stuff. So, you know, we say, hey, you know what? We, we have other stuff, you know, we have stuff for the plumbers, we do stuff for the plumbers. How about we do something for the carpenters? I, you sort of get the sense that a lot of the a lot of individuals uh, doesn't doesn't quite realize that how vast um, the product the product line that you offer, and I yeah. think it yeah. probably goes back to the historical element of it where they knew you as the wireman's house where you yep. kept just for a certain sector, but we've mm -hmm. said and we keep saying that is long gone that is history, yep. moving on. Yes. Yeah. Everybody's welcome to the Wyman's house. Even the carpenters. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Even everyone. the carpenters. That's, even the carpenters, the plumbers, the electricians, the, ma the mason, the builders. Everyone. You know, everybody's welcome to the Wyman's house. And, and you know, Joe, because we are catering for, I would say, the trade men. Right. Okay, yes. Okay. Right? Yeah, for the trade men. Because it have, it have, it have builders can do plumbing. Exactly. Right, it's a plumbers. You can do electrical. Yeah. Right. right. So, so you know, so we, we 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 group it into everybody in one. The trade men. And there are people like me who are chief cook and bottle washer. <laughs> like like you, you said. Okay. All right. Yeah, you yeah, said yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm involved in all all trade, but master of none. <laughs> Master of none. Okay, so you can just you can just you can just pass the water and pass the tools. Well, somebody have to do that on the on the job site, you know. You call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We call them. They go for men. Yeah. Go for this and, and go for that. <laughs> yeah, the most the most valuable player. Well, the most because I mean, when you up on on the the scaffolding, and yeah. you need you need let's say a smaller trowel inside of the let's say the warehouse. Yeah. 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 You plan to climb down and go for it. No, <laughs> you actually said me, the gopher man, yeah? Yes. yes. But right now, I want, I want, I want, I want to come to the wire man's house because I'm interested yeah. in being in get in, in improving my carpentry skills. Mm -hmm. What's what do you have there for me this week? All right. So, so before before we begin, right? So, Ms. Duncan, we gave you guys a little bit of information, right, on what the, the promotion is all about and the discounts as well. Promotion. Okay, good morning, guys. Talk Welcome to, to the Wireman's house, where you know you always have something exciting going on here. And as Salani said early on, we have been targeting the electricians, the plumbers, and this week we are giving a chance to our carpenters to take advantage of the promotion that we have. And we have a 10% discount, and it's going on for one week. Yes, so guys, you have until next week, Wednesday. So head on down to the Wyman's house and capture their sale. Yes, Joe. So, so Joe, you see anything? You see anything here you, you like or you, you need to get? Uh, I've noticed that the Yato brand is quite expensive. Yeah. It is yeah. quite, quite expensive. I see clamps, I see drill bits, I see power saws, I see Hammers. hammer. Talk yep. to me. Take us through the list. Um, you have levels. Um, wall boat saws, circular saws. Yes. Just take 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 me through the product lines. All right. So we have so we have we have our levels here, right? Now we have different sizes of of level. Okay. You know, as you know, we have we have the Yato brands and we have different brands as well. Okay. But Yato is our is our brand. Okay. We have different sizes. You know, we have we have Joe. We have level as as tall as you. Okay. 
yeah? So if you're screening, if you're screening your decking as well, right, and you want to make sure that it's level, we have that available at the Wireman Souls. Okay, we also have our wood chisel. Okay, we have our wood chisel. Uh -huh. Right, we have the single, we have the single packet. Yeah, and also we have a three-piece pack. There is, we have three different sizes of the wood chisel. I haven't seen a wood chisel in donkey years. Donkey years? Yeah, wow. when I was at primary school, I was at, uh -huh. at primary school, um, that's at Palmer, that's where J.W. Fletcher is, the secondary school is now. Uh, yeah. We actually did woodwork, and and that was the only time in my life when I got to actively, you know, use those products. and And it's interesting, kind of disappointing though, that not much of our educational institutions that they yes. offer that sort of um, curricular engagement that allows mm -hmm. in, in in individuals to give them a second option as to what is it they can do in life. Who knows? I, I probably could have been bad as years with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes. Yeah. So, and also, and so we also have our our dry wall saw, and also our wood board saw. Okay. So, when you say dry wall, because we want to be able to not yeah. just sell, but to educate the gen, the the uh, so, 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 what is so dry wall? Uh, so the, basically, the dry wall is basically you have like a wide pole board. Right. Right. So, or, or some people might say the gypsum. Right. The gypsum board. A lot of persons probably have it in the in in their office space and within offices. Mm -hmm. Yes. And they yes. probably don't even realize it. They probably don't 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 even realize it until maybe you probably knock it because it looks it actually yeah. looks like regular wall. But when you if you yes. if you knock it, all of a sudden you realize it's much more. There's a hollow to it. Yeah. A hollow. Yes. Yes, well, but, but it, 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 it can say, some people might say it's um, a ply, but it's not a ply. No, it, 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 no, it isn't. It isn't. Yeah. Right, so, yes, have, so, 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 so we have the saw Yeah, so we have the saw for that. And what's the other one? All right, so, so we have the, the, what is the wood? All right, we have the dry wood, all right? And also, and also the wall, wall board saw. So. What's, what's the difference in the two? It's basically the same, the same thing, but it's, it's, it's just different names. Okay. They're, they're both doing the same thing, but it's just it's different name. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, so also we, we go, we go in now. We also have the, the Yatu Sokola Sok. All the, all, all your power saw. Right. Yeah, the power saw, yeah, power saw. Well, you, you know it, man. I was, I was testing you. <laughs> I, I was, I was a straight A student, my boy. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have, we have that. You know, we also have two different sizes in the the power saw or the circular saw. We have two different sizes available at the Wireman saws. Okay, so if you want something to do a little more heavier, heavier work, uh, we have that available. And that goes for four hundred and ninety dollars. Yes. yes. Okay. Let me ask you. Let me ask you guys though, uh, because I mean, a lot of times as a as a, as a consumer, um, you see a product, you are interested in it, but you sometimes always want to tell yourself, let me compare prices. And I'm assuming that that is something that you guys frequently do to ensure yes. that the prices that you offer, it's mm -hmm. competitive. Yes, we do. That. Yes, we do. Okay. So that, that. that saw, it goes for $490. Yes. Okay. Right, so Ms. Ms. Duncan, we'll, we'll continue. Okay, we have our nice router base set here, Joe. And it have 24 pieces. You know, and for carpenters who do a lot of carving and stuff like that, this is a very, very good piece of set to have. It's almost a must-have for any food. Must-have, yes, absolutely, yes. It is you know, slash ten percent, and you get ten yeah. percent off of it. Ten percent discount, yes. So the regular, the two forty one I'm seeing there is that a discounted price or no, it is not. So that okay, no. so, so two forty one is the regular price, okay. It's the regular okay. price, and you get and you get you get you get your ten percent off. Ten percent discount, okay. definitely. Okay. Yes, we also have some hammers here, as you can see. 
right? Mm -hmm. We have hammers. We also have our clamps, right? We have the three inch and the four inch, right? You guys, let me, let, me, let me ask you, because it is obvious, um, looking at what's here, uh, the jigsaw blade, you have sandpapers, you have sanding belts, sanding discs, wood glue, contacts, cement, huh. everything. Um, it probably is a good opportunity now, you, I can probably assume, for persons looking to take an advantage or maybe get an, an early gift item for a loved one? Most certainly, most certainly, Joseph. Yes, you know, and you have until next week, Wednesday, so this is an opportune time to come and take advantage. 10% discount, 10% discount, and it's going for the entire week. Talking about the right? talking about the discount that you that you offer, um, purchases, uh, does it have to be cash, or do you offer um, a layaway facility, uh, a different... Um, auxiliary services that pe persons can take advantage of because you would have to agree understandably that sometimes cash uh, while it is king is not really yeah. available in this in this era maybe you can talk to uh, your listening public as to what are some of the different um, auxiliary services that you have that they can take advantage of in case cash isn't readily readily available on their hand so maybe well we also do a monthly away just in case, you know, we can lay a weight for you. And also, you know, we do charges and stuff like that. But for but for this promotion that we have, we will prefer the cash and you can get a 10% discount. But there are other options. There are other options. Yeah. Oh, well, should we look at um, bits, drill bits again? And different yes. items? And yes. And mm -hmm. see, we... <laughs> everything is part of your that's a yato brand so you cover yato brand covers everything that you can possibly think about yes joseph yes mm -hmm. take 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 me to yeah. the rest of it right and as, as you can see we have all different grade and sanding paper we have the sanding build you know we have different grade and sanding paper we also have our contact cement our wood glue you know, we have it all here. So carpenters, head on down and just take advantage of the 10% discount that we have going on here at the Wireman's House. 10% discount up until next week, Wednesday. It's next a, week, Wednesday, that's it's correct. It's a clarion call for all of the carpenters, or if you're not just a carpenter, but you're a tradesman. And uh, maybe carpentry yes. may not necessarily be your primary area of expertise, but you're, yeah. you're a handyman. You're a handyman. Um, handy. You probably is a good a good opportunity. You may not necessarily, as the handyman, need um, the twenty four piece router set, uh, but so yeah. the hammers, the so and uh, the different things that you have is a good opportunity. What I'm seeing. Yes, yes, it is. One sixty four twenty three. What's that? Uh, so this is actually this is actually Joe, right? Is a sander, right? It's a this free. Hand sander. Dust free. Yeah. Hmm. What are you? What are we sanding? Uh, well, if you if you see, let's say let's say let's see you have the, the same um the drywall. Right. Right. Let's say you have the same drywall on your on your putting on the 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 compound on it. Right. Right. So, so when you when you put on the compound when it's dry you have to sand it. Okay. Okay. Right. So this, so this basically, will, when you sand, it will actually trap the dust. Okay. Nice. 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 Right. It will trap the dust. Right. You can hook it up. You can also hook it up to your um to your vacuum. Right. So what I can do. So let me open it up, so you guys can see it a lot better. So we're gonna take a look at a dust-free. Um, hand sander yes and i think for there's some there's some people, individuals that like they enjoy the trade of carpentry yeah. but one of the challenges like for me um why i would you would you would you would hardly ever see me around anything that's carpentry related of course it's, yeah. because, it's because of the issue of the dust 
Mm -hmm. um, so for me, yeah, so Joe, so all right, so basically, this folks up here. So you take the hose from your vacuum. No, no, you're not, no, you're not taking the hose from the vacuum. So because I'm, it's I'm, already disconnected to the vacuum. Right, right. This will connect to the vacuum. Uh huh. So one hose, right. one end is connected to the vacuum. And you yes, connect. one is connected to the vacuum, and one is connected to the... The sander itself. To the sander. Right. Yeah? Right, so that is why it's called dust free. Okay, 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 okay. Right, so once, once, once you connect it to the vacuum, it sucks. As soon as you pass it, right, it sucks the dust in to the vacuum. Let me ask you, the vacuum, that vac vacuum that you're referring to, that sucks... Um, does it the device comes with it or is the vacuum se sold separately no, the vacuum so separate so once once you have once you have a vacuum foam right i know i know most trade men right when you're doing the certain jobs right they have a vacuum right now this can actually hook up to your vacuum no right i i understand that but because you say it was dust free and of the suction effect that pulls the dust so what if i don't have a vacuum and i'm using it just as is um how does that how, how exactly does it work <laughs> no well the whole the whole the whole the whole the whole thing is basically made to use a vacuum Right. If you if you do not if you do not use the vacuum, oh, Joe, so it won't it won't. So you need a vacuum. That, yeah, that's what I was, Yes, I, you need a vacuum. I was trying. I was yeah, trying that, to that, yeah, that is that is that is why okay. that is why it would have mentioned the, the dust free because you may you may have you will have to use a vacuum. No, I I thought initially because it was a hand sander, I thought maybe it came uh, maybe with a built-in storage capacity, and if you want. <laughs> then you could use the the vacuum as an extension to it. And that, that's what I thought. Okay. So either way, why okay. don't you get to the... All right, so, all right, so, 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 so this is, so this is, this is the tool here, right? Right. Right. So when you sand, right, when you sand, sand on wherever you're sanding, right, it have an ex exit point here. Right. Right, so when you sand, the dust it will actually in, go, it's go, automatic goes in. And it sucks. Right okay. now, if you do not have, if you do not have the vacuum, right, definitely all you won't get all the the dust in. Right, you only get some. Right. Okay. I think I'm. I'm no, I, I just I just wanted to make sure that that for the purpose of the listening and the viewing audience that they appreciate exactly what is it. Um, because you know you might probably think, okay, I'm going to buy it and then I go home and then I realize. Um, vacuum, vacuum, where no vacuum, nowhere, nowhere, no, nowhere, nowhere to be found. So that is, and that's going for a hundred and sixty-four dollars. If you go between now and next week, Wednesday, you get a yes. 10, you get a ten percent discount. Yes, and all, and also we have our air sander, right? This uses our our compressor. Right. Right. So this is the air sander. Okay. Right, so this is definitely used with a compressor. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. So one is used with a with with a with a compressor, the other one is used but well, in terms of functionality, um if you can, when would I use is or, or it, does it not matter? It's just a matter of a matter of choice whether or not I want to use an air sander or I wanna use um the the other one. Or is it for different types of results you're looking for? You would use them. I have no idea. Tell me. All right. So if you, if you want if you want to use the the, um, the air sander, okay. Now the air sander, if you're using it on the drywall. Now let's remember the with the drywall is just just a little piece, right? It's just a little piece. So the air sander now may sand up more than. Okay. Just the, the little piece. Okay. Right. So so if you if you have let, let's say, let's say if you have um you're doing woodwork, okay, and you want to sand off a rough edge, a very rough, right? And you find you know you have your, your um you have your your sandpaper you know and your and your belt and stuff, and you find that might take a little longer. 
right? This is where the, the air sender come, comes in. Time and efficiency saves time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you know, and, and also, and also, you know, you don't want to use this just only for, for you know, if you're doing your carpentry as well. You know, if you have um, if you have um, um if you're doing body work, you know, on vehicle as well, uh -huh. you know, this comes in good as well. You know, so you, you can use this in different, 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 different areas. Okay, 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 okay. So it's not it's it's, it's not just for um the the the, the, the yeah, for those into one. carpentry, but for those yeah. of course who into automobile body works and you work yeah. Out. Okay, great. So I think it's it's quite a decent investment. Three hundred and twelve dollars. Is it? Like yes, it is. Yeah, Three hundred and twelve dollars. Fifteen yes. minutes onto the hour uh, for probably those of you that just chiming us, joining us. When you you got us at the tail end of the program, uh, but we have with us today um, Chris and Lady Duncan from the Wyman's House, and today we offering. Uh, well, not just today. Today until next week Wednesday, Wednesday. you've been, you been offering a ten percent discount on all accessories um tools everything and tools and accessories uh, for carpenters tradesmen you get in a 10 percent discount on that yes and just so, so we also have our our flat bits or wood flat bits right we have that available in different sizes as you can see right yeah, and also we have our blades for our jigsaws. So if you're a tradesman, you know the tools of your trade, you know the different accessories that you need. Well, we can safely tell, tell say to a tradesman, it doesn't matter yeah. what how, ex how, how extensive you are in the trade, whatever you need for carpentry work as a carpenter, mm -hmm. You can yes. get it at the wine man's house, plain and simple. Mm -hmm. the wine man's yeah, house. and you get you know, it, you and you get a ten percent discount uh, between 10 yeah. this Correct. week and next week. You want some water, sir? I've got my water. I probably need something stronger because the water, the water ain't working. <laughs> yeah, I need. I mean, you need something yes. salt and something strong. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, my Christmas coming up. Why wait when we can enjoy it all now? Yeah, <laughs> right. So, and so, so we also have our our blades for our circular saw or power saw. Right. So we have that in different different sizes. Okay. Right. In different sizes. There, uh, as you can see. So I have seen. I have heard. I'm interested in coming by you. Uh, let's talk about the. How do I? um reach you the hours of operation in the meantime um so let's let's talk about that because we the clock is running away on us okay we are located in woodland st george's you can reach us on 443-5577 or 449-5577 you can also email it at the wyman's house at gmail.com you can also follow us on instagram and facebook our opening hours from Monday to Thursday, we're open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. On Fridays, 8 to 4, and Saturdays, 8 to 1. Not forgetting, Joe, we do free deliveries within St. George's. Free deliveries within St. George. Yes, it's the folks at the Wabas House. Give them a call. Check them out. <laughs> the number again is 443-5577. Did I get it right, Chris? Yes. And yes, so it is. So the yeah, so it's and you can get them yes, on, on social media you're an instant yes social social media social media um whatsapp right also you can get us on whatsapp as well that whatsapp number is 449-5577 okay and also you can follow us on facebook on instagram right if you need any pricing if you need a quote anything that you're looking for you can also send a picture on whatsapp facebook right and we will show you what we have at store right and also we will try to locate if we do not have it we will try to look at our or send you to the next best person that who will have that particular item that's the commitment you get from the wms i'll check them out yeah. on the woodlands main road or give them a call at 443 5577 mm -hmm. check them out via the social media platform and instagram facebook and you can also check them out via 
WhatsApp. Thanks a lot, Chris. Yes. Thanks a lot, Lady Duncan. We do this again, the good right. Lord's willing, next week, Wednesday, same place, same time, with your boy. Same time. Peace and love to you guys. Have a great one. All right. Thanks, you. Bye. Uh, there you have it, folks. That's a wrap. Um, the televised edition of the Mid Morning Buzz. Uh, we're just speaking there with Chris, with the wo our wonderful folks from the Wireman's House, where there's always something exciting, and that is happening this week. Of course, the offer 10% discount is being offered to, of course, carpenters and, and everything on your tools and accessories that you need for your trade. Well, and that's where I say so long, farewell, and goodbye to you. We're keeping our eyes on the clock. It is 10 minutes on to 12. We're getting ready for the Midday Edition, a production of our News and Current Affairs Department, where that's for those of on television, and for those of you on, on, on radio, sorry. For those of you in television, we, of course, take, send you back to Master Control to continue with your regular daily programming. For those of you that is on Classic, for those of you that is on Classic, again, reminding you, the Luncheon Edition comes up at the top of the hour. Quick commercial break, and we are going to be right back.